Hi everybody, today we will discuss about SAP local client copy. Uh, so the purpose of creating clients is uh, to get a copy of an existing client. Uh, from an existing client we can copy all the information or some information to the newly created client. So during the client copy uh, we cannot log in into the new client, target client or the source client. When you make changes in the source client it may not be effective. So uh, we should not log in into both of these clients. So in this case we have uh, three systems here, one is the development system, then quality system and the production system. We need only one system so we use the quality system. In the quality system we have uh, everything running, the central instance is 0, 3 and uh, all the work processes are running in the central instance. And if I take the dialog instance we have, uh, we have actually dialog work process and the background work process running and the other work process won't be there. So we have only one background work process in the central instance because we are going to log in into sent through the central instance to client 001 and we are going to do that. We are going to create the client. So we will manage with one background work process but normally it's better to have more than one because client copy is very, very resource intensive. Let me log in into quality system through client 03. So I'm logging into instance number, sorry, through instance number 03. So here if I select this one, I will be logging through instance 01. I can select either 01 or 03. My memory area, which I'm going to use may be different if I select three different, I mean three different instances but uh, I can log in into the same client. I can log into any client because the tables I'm going to modify are not client specific. They are cross client. So first I wanted to see how many clients I have. I can use two methods. I can open a file by typing a C16 and the name of the file is T000 and I see I have so many clients. So second way of checking is by typing a command SCC4, these are not case sensitive, then it shows that I have so many clients. But I cannot make changes in this table because it's in display mode. Change it to change mode. It gives a warning. Then I create new entries. So I'm going to create a new client called 840. Let this be training client. And the city is Toronto. It will ask me to assign a logical system. If it is possible, I will assign now. Uh, it's better to identify, it's easier to identify a client in a system landscape uh, because the client has the SAP system name, system ID and also the client number. So it's easy to identify which SAP system this particular client is coming from. For that reason, we assign logical systems, logical names. Let me create logical system by opening another session. I type a command called BD54. That is also a cross client table. That table is TBDLS. I make new entries. 840. I can give a name. say training purpose. The logical system name is going to be the seed of the system is uh, QSY and CLNT and the new client is 830. So this is the logical system. I will copy this, save it, it will create a change request. So it is saved. 
So now I'll go to the other screen and I give that name. So this is the logical system I just created. It updated a table called TBDLS. And if I want, I can go to the table. SC16. TB. TB. system will be here. If I want, I can search for the system. Let me close this. A client role would be training and education. By default, the client is open. I can make changes because I have to make changes because this client is just an entry in the table T000. So, this client should be open. So, what I'm going to do is after creating the client, I'm going to log in into this client. Since this client doesn't have any information, I can log in as only SAP star. SAP star is a kernel built user. So it has a password called PASS. Provided I can log in as SAP star into my system, I can log into this client as well. In my, if, if I can log in as SAP star in my instance or in my server, then I can log in into this client as SAP star. Let me save it. Then I will reduce this. I am going to log in again into the same system. I use the same instance. Uh, I don't want to use the other instance because it's a new client which doesn't have any information. So I will log in as uh, SAP star and the password is going to be PASS. Make sure that I am logging into QA system but I have to change the Client number to 840. So I logged in. So now I will type SCCL to see to do a local client copy. By default, my target client is the client I am logged in now. If I check here, it will show me that I have logged into a client 840 and I have logged in as SAP star. I can select uh, any profile to copy. If I select SAP all, it will copy everything from my source client to the target client, which will take a long time. So I am going to use only SAP user that will copy only the master records and some authorization profiles. So the users who are in the source client will be, will be available in the target client when the, when the copying is done. But I should not log in into the, I cannot log in into the target client, but I should not log in into the source client and make changes at this time. And we do it normally in the, in the night sometime when people are not using the system. So the source client is, I can select from the list, I select from 0, 0, 0. First I do a test run to see whether my resources are fine and my copying also can be done properly. So I can do two test runs. So after finishing the test run, I go to schedule the job. So I can select any other server to do the back, to ask the background server so that all the work is done from in that server. I can start it immediately if I want, if nobody is using the system, using those clients. And then uh, I will schedule the job. I, I can change this if I want. So the job is done. So if you want to see the log SCC3, so this is happening now. So the thing is done. If I am using SM50, I can see the work processes which are running now. So work processes are very active. So a different table, one table called AGR flags is read sequentially. SAP star is doing this because I logged in as SAP star. How much time is used? I can refresh and see. So now insert sequential read, different table.
and also I can see whether the background job is how is the background job progressing by typing SM37 since we already started it's running and SAP star is the user who started this process and today is the date so this is active this process is active so once the client copy is done I can log in into the target client I can log in as any user who was available in 000 client which is the source client and then I can work in that client so this is what uh, I wanted to tell you today thank you